Okay, so lighting and shadows. So lighting and shadows, uh, we've already shown how to do a little bit of lighting. There are three types of lights. There are directional light, point light, and spotlight. They are as they sound. Um, and associated with just directional lights, I think. Associated with directional lights, uh, you can specify whether that light will cast shadows or not. And those shadows can be set to soft shadows, which are aliased uh, alpha blended shadows, or hard shadows, which are more kind of, you know, uh, sensible shadows. Um, you can specify how strong the shadow is, etc. Um, the resolution of the shadows, which is in quality settings, which I'll talk about in a few slides. And these, th okay, th these three boxes across here are all of, the s all of the settings to do with shadows and lighting, all of the kind of global um, quality settings to do with shadows and lighting. We have uh, the object-based one, which is found in the inspector on the light component. In player settings, which I haven't shown you right yet, we specify a rendering path. There are three rendering paths. There's deferred lighting, there's forward lighting, there's vertex lit. Vertex lit is uh, the simplest form. It does not um, support real-time shadows. Uh, it's used mainly for legacy systems like OpenGL one, OpenGL ES uh, one devices, like very old Android phones. Um, Forward lighting is available in the free version only. Sorry. Forward lighting is the best lighting available in the free version. It supports, I think, four dynamic lights. Um, and deferred lighting is the highest quality pro version, real-time lighting, global illumination, etc. Supports everything that Unity has in there. And that's only in the pro version. It's not to say that things don't look good outside of deferred lighting, but um, if you want to do nice real-time soft shadows, then it'll look much better in there. And then quality settings. I'll show you these three things in a second. Um, quality settings are overall kind of per platform settings for quality. So everyone's probably run a Unity application and the first thing that happens is it pops up a dialog box saying, what quality level do you want? And one of them is simple, one of them is good, one of them is brilliant, and one of them is fantastic, or something like that. These are loading these settings from the quality settings. So it's, it's, loading, the it's loading the rendering settings at runtime through the quality settings that you've built your project with. So let me show you those th couple of things. So the first one was a light. We don't even have a light in this scene. Um, let's just add a point light. So in the point light, okay, we can use shadows with a uh, point light. I thought you couldn't for some reason. You can use it with a spotlight. Okay, you can have shadows with all light types. Okay. So just got a directional light here. We can specify hard or soft shadows. That's how you specify it on a light basis. On objects, you might want an object that does not cast or receive shadows. So on each mesh renderer object, we also have a cast shadows and receive shadows check. Um, obviously, they do what they do what they uh, say. In edit project settings quality, you will find this um, bunch of settings. These are all of the options that you see when you when you run a Unity game. Um, you know, what, what kind of quality do you want to run at? Fastest up to fantastic. And the vertical are the platforms. So this is the Android one. Uh, this is the web one. This one is the standalone one. And at the moment, I've set fantastic to be the default on the standalone, for instance, and simple to be the default on Android. And within those um, profiles, you can specify things like anti-aliasing, uh, anisotropic filtering, um, soft particles, as we see here, uh, says it needs deferred lighting for soft particles. I'll set that in a minute. And shadows, if we're having, so the, 
These are the overall settings. These ones override, um, um, they, sorry, they don't override settings, but they're just, if these are disabled, then any settings you have in your game objects, if I want soft shadows, but then soft shadows isn't uh, set within the quality uh, settings, then it wouldn't, take, wouldn't have any effect. The final thing is in the build settings. So in the build settings, when you say I want to build my project, you can go to player settings. And in player settings, that's where you set the rendering path. So if I set it to deferred lighting, and then go back to, so I can say deferred lighting, use DirectX 11, which is a new uh, feature in Unity 4. Obviously, if you're running on Mac or uh, Android or uh, iOS, you won't have DirectX 11 uh, support there. It will run using OpenGL. By default on Windows, uh, Unity will use DirectX. But you can force it to run in OpenGL uh, through a command line. Uh, so if I now go to the quality settings, it's now not having that error about soft particles um, because I'm using deferred lighting now. All right. Okay, so that's how to get to lighting and shadows.